Hi, and welcome to another Tuesday tip. Today's tip is on assets disposed of for less than fair market value. It has come to my attention that the new managers don't know anything about it. They don't know what's going on with it. And that the old managers have either forgotten how to do it or forgotten about doing it. Owners must count assets disposed of for less than fair market value during the two years preceding the certification and recertification. The amount counted as an asset is the difference between the cash value and the amount actually received. Any asset that is disposed of for less than its full value is counted, including cash, gifts, as well as property. Example, the grandmother sells her house and she puts the money in the bank in the checking account, but when the manager goes to verify it, through third party, she sees that the house sold for $120,000 and there's only $115,000 in there. So that's a difference of $5,000. The grandmother decided that she was going to give her daughter the $5,000. That asset is over $1,000 and that $5,000 should be counted against the grandmother for two years. Another example the book gives is that Mr. Jackson gives each of his three granddaughters $500, and that's $1,500. So $1,500 will be counted against Mr. Jackson's 5-9 for a period of two years because he disposed of an asset for less than fair market value. It's in chapter five. I encourage you to read it. I encourage you that during your MOR that the reviewer is looking for a disposal of asset to be signed each certification. Tune in the next time for another Tuesday tip.